Hello all, welcome back. This is fourth lesson of this module and we are going to look at network security groups also known as NSGs. In this lesson we are going to look at what are network security groups and what are NSG rules and what is effective rules and how to create NSG with a demonstration. Network security groups can be used to limit the network traffic which is going through the ne virtual network. So we can control both inbound and outbound traffic which is destined or originating from the virtual network. And this is possible by applying a set of security rules with either allow or deny permissions. NSGs can be associated to either a subnet or a network interface. From maintenance perspective, associating NSGs to a subnet makes sense because there are very less rules or NSGs to be managed. But if we end up applying directly to network interface, it's a bit of pain from management point of view, but we have fine grained controls as well. If we talk about NSG rules, we have both inbound and outbound security rules and these rules helps in filtering the network traffic which is again flowing inside or outside of the virtual network and we have both allow and deny actions so by default if we allow a rule then it will allow only that mention rule and deny all of the traffic or by default if we specify a deny rule it will deny that particular traffic and allow other traffic so there are some default security real rules which are already applied and we can't change those default security rules but we can override them by specifying the same rule with overridden parameters and we can decrease the priority of the rule so the lesser the priority the rule will be overridden say for example in the example uh, we have three set of inbound rules which is vnet inbound allow load balancer traffic and deny all inbound so if we specify one more rule with priority let's say 100 and we can specify same rule like allow vnet inbound and port is any and protocol is any and if we specify the action as deny then that will take precedence instead of the priority is a higher number so we have discussed NSGs can be applied to either a subnet and a network interface call. And in scenarios where we have applied rules at both the levels, each rules must be evaluated independently. And if you want to allow a traffic to a VM, both rules should allow the traffic. And for outbound as well, if we want to allow outbound traffic, both should allow that outbound traffic. So the priority is whenever there is a traffic coming inbound, first it will hit the subnet rule and if it allows, it will go to NIC rule and if it allows, then it will reach the virtual machine. The reverse order will work for outbound rules for example when a traffic is originating from virtual machine it will first hit the 
network interface called rule and if it allows outbound then it will go to subnet network security group rule and if it allows there then the outbound traffic will flow so in a network interface there will be a link called effective security rules which will give the final list of rules which will be applied to a traffic if energy is applied at both levels so we can see whether that is the intended uh, net network security group policy which we want to apply whenever we are creating a new network security group rule we can either select basic or advanced configurations wherein basic we can choose the service and it will by default pick the port range for that service and we can just provide the port range or priority and we are good but if you want to customize the rule let's say for example if you want to run http service on port 8080 then we can use advanced uh, configuration and we can provide those parameters as well now we will switch back to a demonstration of how to create energies we are into azure portal and i click on create a resource and we search for network security group and click on create we name it as my energy and let's create a new security group called for the resource group called energy and use the region as east us and click on create Now we have successfully submitted and the deployment is in progress so it will take a few seconds to get it deployed and now the deployment is successful and if you look at the overview we are able to see set of default rules available one is bound security rule and another is outbound security rules so by default if there is any traffic which is flowing between virtual networks that is allowed in nsg and if there are any traffic from azure load balancer that is allowed apart from that all other inbound is blocked for outbound security rules again the traffic within virtual network is allowed and the traffic from virtual network to internet is allowed and all other outbound is blocked those are the default rules which is there and let's say if we want to create a new inbound rule let's say for a web server we can click on add in inbound security rules and so this is the advanced energy rule addition uh, configuration here we can choose any source we know the source port range we can choose it and for the destination we can choose let's say any destination and we can choose the port 80 and protocol let's say we can choose tcp and allow and for priority we can choose 100 and 
we can name the rule as port underscore 80 we can give a short description of the rule let's say http port rule and we click on add this will create a new nsg rules for port 80 let's say we add one more rule for port 443 so similarly we click on add and this time instead of advanced we will choose basic so here there are very less fields so we can choose https so by default it picks the port 443 and we can just name it to port underscore 443 and we can give the description as http traffic rule and we click on add this will create the new rule for https if there is any virtual networks for the subnets which is attached to this NSG or the network interfaces we will be able to see it here so if we click on network interfaces here everything is empty and if we click on subnets everything is empty so we haven't associated anything with this network security group but if you want to do we can click on associate and we can choose a virtual network Let's say we choose vnet portal and we'll choose a subnet called subnet-1 and we click on OK. This will associate this NSG to this subnet. Similarly, we can do it for network interfaces as well. So that's all about network security group. See you in the next video. Thank you.